guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello, my name is Kay. I'm a professional home organizer and soprano here in the Boston area, and I am here to inspire you to live a more organized life. So it's the next installment in Dwelling Story, also known as Getting Our House Together. We just moved about a month and a half ago, and we're still working out spaces. So today I'm going to tackle two spaces, but this will be just one space in this video. But today I'm gonna go ahead and tackle the very messy, very disorganized, very insane coat closet that we have in the front of our house. So our building has automatic lights in all the closets and they don't work amazingly well, but this is what we've got going on so far. I installed uh, an alpha custom alpha closet that I designed for this space. So it's got two shelves up there hanging. I, pr I put another shelf down here and like some drawer units. I'm not exactly sure this is working for us right now because it's just a little insane. Um, we also have a shoe storage on the back of the door here. This is working great. Um, it keeps the shoes off the floor. It keeps the soles from touching things so um it's really helpful but um and i've got some hanging up there as well so i just want to straighten this out to be a little bit more functional for us and especially since we're coming towards the warmer season we can probably put some coats away however um i'm just gonna maybe declutter a few coats because i don't think that i fit all of those coats clover is here he wanted to say hello he just got back from a walk and he's very very wanting to do something else <laughs> So the first thing I really wanna do when I organize spaces is ask myself, what exactly is this space functioning as? What do I need it to do? And basically it is a drop zone for whatever we need to store, uh, reusable grocery bags, like these guys, we need to have weather things for the dog um, and things basically that involve taking the dog out for walks. We do have some storage for uh, dog stuff here. So we've got his harness there, his leash, and his collar. We've also got keys and stuff up there as well. But overall, it's looking fairly messy. So I want to organize it a little bit today. There's some random stuff up here, which I'm not really sure. I do like the idea of keeping some bags here because, you know, I can just change bags out if I want. But uh, we've got like a memory box up there for our, from our wedding and like some other random stuff. So I don't know if that's exactly a good place for that, but we're gonna sort that out today. So I'm excited. Aren't you excited? Get excited. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna do, unfortunately, is take most of everything out and uh, just sort of reevaluate what's going on in here. Yay. Running on a hamster wheel, but searching for something I can't feel. I just wanna. These are all the dresses I wanted selling on Poshmark when I moved. Um, I'm just going to move them to a different location. It doesn't make sense to keep them in the coat closet. Okay, here's where we are right now. I'm sorry for the noise from the dryer. Um, we've got all the stuff, not all the stuff, but like most of the stuff out and where I can see it. So we've got some bags there. Uh, this is my husband's like massage thingy. We've got basically the drawer, the content of this, the big drawers. So this looks like my husband's drawer. This looks like my drawer. And my drawer had some reusable bags in it. So I moved them all to a consolidated place Oh my goodness, hello. Uh, we're not doing this right now, Clover, and uh, I, I promise I will do it later, I, I promise. This is the stuff um, that is like the outbox, like stuff that doesn't belong to us, that people have left with us, and that we need to get back to them. So I'm considering moving that to a more, to this little container so that we can see stuff. This is our wedding memory box. I don't know if that needs to be <laughs> stored in here. And this is like a utility item. Um, I can definitely move this away from here. And uh, so what we've got left is, well, I'm not gonna move those shoes. I put some shoes in the dryer cause you can hear them, they're super loud. I might, I took everything off the shelves and almost everything off the hanger. I might move the, 
trash bag thing. Well, this is like the, the you know, these, these plastic bags are, you know, they can't really be recycled unless you take them to a special place. So we save them in that thing. But I don't know if that's a thing for the coat closet. You know what I mean? And um, I've taken all of the drawers out that I could. This drawer hits the, I put this in here like in a very snug way. So it doesn't really um, <laughs> come out, but uh, I've put one drawer organizer in there and it looks nice. Um, and then I've got two other drawers and then one big drawer. And I think I'm gonna take some coats out and I think I can eliminate at least one coat. I feel like one doesn't fit me anymore. <laughs> Uh, so we're, we're gonna see which one that is but and then I'm gonna put stuff back and Hopefully well, I got to clean it up a little bit first because it's a little dirty <laughs> And then I will put stuff back in an orderly manner. Oh my goodness. He's making his own fun over there Okay, it's almost, well, it's lunchtime now and we're all done. And I think it turned out really well, so I'll show you what I did. So we'll start at the top here. You see I moved the suitcases from the linen closet. They were hanging out there to in here because what else are we gonna put up there? So I decided that that was a good place for them. I, there was some stuff I wasn't able to get in before I put that in there. So I just stuck it on the side as my husband's packets. But otherwise our two suitcases, uh oh, are in here. <laughs> then I did get rid of one coat that just didn't fit me anymore. So sad about that, but um, I had to thin down the coat herd a little bit. And my main goal for this um, side hanging business was just to put my one long coat because otherwise we just don't have long coats. We just have short coats, but I have one long coat for um, New England winters. Yes, and I have some sweater coats that I just that just hang out here. Leftover scarves right there, and that's usually all I'm putting on in terms of winter gear right now. It's spring, so I don't really need to have a lot. I put my seasonal stuff pretty much away. Unless it gets really cold, I can dig it out again, but um, it's away for now. And on the side, we just have some bags on the door because they don't hang into the shoe situation <laughs> that we've got here. We really like this shoe stuff. This is the door and wall rack from the container store. It's an alpha product. And what it does is it attaches to the bottom and the top of the door so it doesn't like swing around like that. I just put these shoe racks here and they work really well. They, you know, they keep the soles off of, you know, any objects and floor and it works really well. I really like them. As you can see, we're um, we're mostly wearing sneakers <laughs> nowadays, but I the biggest change was the change I made to the bottom here. I just neatened all that stuff out and took things out that didn't really belong there. So in the corner, I did shove my little, um, this is actually a work bag. I've been taking this actually to rehearsal as well. So if I need to bring like a lot of stuff to work, I will like my computer and stuff, I will take that. But right now we're not really leaving the house for work. So that's just chilling. And I've got, this is the 
now out box for things that don't belong to us. Like my friend left his scarf here, I think like a few months ago, a, a game that I need to sell. And my husband's got some Lush, those little Lush containers that you take back to Lush. So that's there so we don't forget about it in an open container because I feel like it was in that box and like it was an out of sight, out of mind situation. So we've moved it. Then my husband's bag, I think this is his like bicycle bag is there. So this shelf basically got some functionality back. Um, and then we've got Jijogi wipes if he comes in really dirty. And I've got his little, we've been using this little um, container for his boots for the longest time and they work really well. It's a little six by six bin and he wears these My Busy Dog boots when it's raining outside or snowing or if it's really, really hot or if it's just really messy so he doesn't get um, dirt and stuff inside of the house. We take it off, we take the boots off outside of the house and he comes in with clean feet and he loves it. He's great. <laughs> this is my husband's um, bicycle battery and he just got some, you know, flip flops here. I don't know. I just put them in that bin because they weren't really, you know, we had this bin and I was like, hey, that's a good idea. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> so the top of this really doesn't have anything left pretty much in it. There's a little cup back there with some change, but I mean, that's really not a lot, but I took a lot of stuff off of the top because it just wasn't functional because it's like this little weird spot. I mean, eventually I may like get a special bin or something like that, that pulls out that's just tall enough to fit under right there and there. I think that would be really cute. But for now, since I can't go out and buy stuff, I'm just gonna let this chill right now the way it is. The biggest change I made was in these drawers, I think. This drawer now has my husband's weather stuff and I organized it. I had these extra shoe boxes, so I'm using these as drawer dividers. And he's got his little, he's got his mask, fabric masks. We have masks now because I'm filming this on April 1st. <laughs> Seems like a joke, but it ain't. Um, so we've got masks and we've got um, gloves and stuff and he's got his, what are these, scarves. <laughs> In this drawer, I moved this sort of shoe mat this like this so that we could if we had any wet shoes we could just place them there plop them there and this drawer is the reusable bag drawer now at this time a lot of stores aren't letting you use these because of the pandemic but um we have to use these at our local bodega so um we do use these when we go out shopping and we use the ones that you can wash so after we go out shopping we put these right in the wash and they stay nice and clean so um, if you have to use them that's probably the best thing you can do is disinfect them right as you bring them in and, and just have them clean and ready to go all the time but that's where the bags live and i'm glad they're all in one place now um, so i'm just going to pop those right back there because we don't use that drawer a lot. And in this drawer, I popped his, my husband's little back roller thing and the duffel bag that he's got back there. So that actually has a, an actual home. And this is uh, the drawer that belongs to me. <laughs> this is my um, purse box. This is the stuff that I take sometimes in my purse, but I don't always want to have in my purse. And I, I think I've said in a few videos that you really should have something like that. It's a place where you can unload your purse and put things in, take things out, uh, depending on you know your needs of the day. Like I have like stuff for you know the lady times. So I've got my purse organizer just in case I'm using a purse that's large enough to be using a purse organizer in. I've got my glasses just in case I'm going to the movies. Not right now, but you know, I got some medications. <laughs> I got all kinds of things. So this is nice and divided now. So I can find, you know, various things. I have business cards and hand sanitizer and a little um, a nail clipper. I got all kinds of business in there. And this one is for umbrellas and clover. So I did make a dedicated space for his stuff. So you see he's lots, got lots of boots. I just washed these, so he's got a green pair. And well, it was supposed to be a black pair, or no, it was supposed to be a red pair, but they sent me three blacks and one red. So <laughs> that's, that's what it is. A little treat bag. And I think back here is his little rain coat. Yes, he's got a rain coat as well. So he's ready to go in any weather. So that is that. So that's basically the big change I made with this closet. And I really think that this will be a lot more functional for us now. Before it was just messy, it stressed me out, but now I can at least, you know, manage it. All right, I'm so glad I'm done with phase one of that project. I might go back, well, I probably will definitely go back and tweak it later um, because that's what, that's what I do. So that's at least the uh, like 
the phase one that I can handle of that closet. So it's time to make lunch. I hope you guys are staying well and I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.